thermal imaging for what we're doing is freaking phenomenal. And, and being able to visually see how your refrigerant circuit is doing, where the heat is stacking in your coils, if you've got any hot spot, if you're dealing with like an air-cooled system, it can help identify where your oil level is by seeing the thermal imaging. I've used it to see where my liquid level is on, say, flash tank economizers and being able to actually physically see, okay, I've got other ways of doing it, right? So I know like YCIV as an example, I know that where my condensation line is, that is where my liquid level is in the flash tank. And that's enough to do whatever troubleshooting I need to with, right? I can, I can base it off of that level. But the thermal imager, I can pull it up and I can see what those actual temperatures are. And I can see with that liquid level in there through the thermal imaging. I can also do the same thing with oil reservoirs and see where the oil level is. They're just, they, they've been so, so useful. I am a huge fan of using thermal imaging and even just how many things you can see that aren't visible otherwise when you're doing your initial walkthrough. Like when you first walk up and you're doing a diagnostic especially if it's a machine you know really well, being able to just take that thermal imaging with you as you go. Now, the one I have been using recently is a is the Navic uh, thermal imager. It's been great. I really like it. I know um, uh, FLIR, I've heard a lot of great things about. I've, I've also used, you know, some, some uh, was it Top? It wasn't Top Tech. It was Top something that plugged into my phone. I used that for quite a while. I'm not really partial to any particular one. The current one I have is is the Navic uh, thermal imager that I can carry around with me. It looks like one of those little temp guns, something like that. When you first walk up to the troubleshoot, just being able to pull that out and walk around the machine with that and get your visuals and being able to, to see into what's happening, not only visually, right? So you, you're looking for... Anything obvious, any major breaks, burn spots, oil everywhere, you know, those are obvious things that we're, we're doing when we're doing that physical walk around to see, okay, what stands out to me? Did somebody configure something? Is there a valve closed? Did something break off somewhere? Do I have a temperature sensor dangling somewhere that isn't supposed to be? Did it come out of its strap? Did it just get left that way? You know, those are things we're looking for when we're doing our initial walk arounds as part of our troubleshoot of, okay, what's the obvious being able to add to that thermal image to where now as you're walking around, you're looking for these other things. You're also able to see the refrigerant circuit. If that dryer has a major uh, or not even a major, it has a restriction. You're going to see a pretty significant uh, color change through that filter dryer. That would be a really fast indicator. Oh, okay, there's a dryer issue. You're going to be able to uh, temp your uh, reservoir, and you're going to you should be able to see in most cases where that oil level is. If you have you know economizers, you'll be able to see where all these levels are. You can also scan your condenser fan or your condenser coils to see if you've got hot spots. You know, depending on the access to them, uh, and so like that could indicate to you that you know, maybe that section of the coil is getting dirty and that if you're having high head pressure issues or something like that, or if you're having a condenser fan issue, those coils that have a, have a bad fan are going to be running hotter than the rest of the coils. That's going to stand out in, in the thermal imaging. So you'll be able to, to, without having to climb up on top, that'll help you identify um, just problem areas, areas that stand out as that doesn't look right. And then you can just really speed up the, okay, well, I'm going to go investigate this and see how this may tie into whatever symptoms we have going on. I'm a huge fan of using thermal imaging as a additional tool and the tools have gotten good enough to really be like legitimately useful. Uh, for a long time, they were, they weren't that good, especially for how expensive they were. They really weren't. And now you can get even the cheap ones. The cheap ones nowadays can substantially improve your, your troubleshooting. You, not, not to mention you get an actual quality one where you get better resolution. You can see more clearly. It's not just a bunch of colorful blobs kind of floating around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd invest in it.